Hey everybody, so for today's video I want to talk about some 3DS classic game titles that are available in the Nintendo eShop for almost every Nintendo 3DS system at the moment. Uh, these are games that you can download at the eShop feature uh, built into the main menu feature of the 3DS system and you can download them and put them on whatever SD card is available in your 3DS system uh, for memory storage. You can play these classic games and you know kind of see where, you know, kind of how Nintendo got to where they are and things of that nature. But since most of you are watching this video, you'll probably even know already know about you know like the eShop feature and the virtual console games and stuff of that nature. Um, this is a video that's mostly about six different games that I think are really notable right now on the Nintendo eShop, and uh, you can download them and put them on your 3DS and um, you know, take a break from whatever 3DS game you're playing, go back to the main menu and play these and things of that nature. Uh, but these are six different titles that I think are really notable. They're at least worth trying out. You know, some of these are actually really cheap too. You know, they're probably like four or five bucks or some of them are even three bucks on the eShop right now for the 3DS. So uh, let's get started. I have six titles to share with you today. So uh, the first one is Lock and Chase for the Game Boy. It's basically like a heist version of Pac-Man. Uh, you collect these little coins in the maze, and you have to avoid, I think, these little police officer icons. And uh, once you collect all the coins, you know, basically, you know, because it's a bank robbery, uh, you know, you move on to the next level. Um, it, it sounds very simplistic. I know it doesn't sound like, oh, wow, i got to buy that game right now kind of thing, but... Um, it really is a lot of fun. It's actually really addictive. It's um, really easy to pick up. It's not a difficult game to learn how to play. Um, like I said, I think this is one that's about only about four bucks or something on the eShop. So it's it's really worth your time and money. I think it's a lot of fun. <clears throat> so if you like Pac-Man, if you want to see kind of a bank heist, heist version of that uh, game, Lock and Chase is a good game to download. The next one is actually an NES title, and it just and it just so happened to be a um, 3DS eShop game in the process, and that's Balloon Fight for the NES. Really fun game. It's a, there's there's a one and a two player mode in it. You basically try to pop the balloon of these little bird creatures that are flying around in all these different levels that you go in. You yourself have two balloons. You you actually play the balloon fighter in it. And once you pop their balloon and you either pop their parachute or you hit them while they're on the ground, uh, you do that until all the enemies are taken out and you move on to the next level. Really fun game. I know a lot of people who, who owned an NES are, are aware of a lot of these you know, NES classics. Probably already know what Balloon Fight is. But yeah, it's a really fun title. It is available on the eShop just like it is for the, um, the Wii Systems eShop of, for virtual game titles, for virtual console titles. It's a really fun game. Another really fun game that you can also download for the Wii version of the Virtual Console is the original Super Mario Brothers. I don't even have to tell you what that is, just because it's you know so well known. It's one of the best games ever made for most people. Um, if you don't own it yet, you can you can play it now. You can download it for the eShop for the 3DS and uh, enjoy the NES Classic. Next one is actually a, not a very well known title, so I really want to make sure I talk about this one. It's called Vampire Master of Darkness. It's a Game Gear title that's available for download through the 3DS eShop. Um, I'm personally not too far along in it from, from what I played of it and from what I've... Because um, I actually own a Sega Game Gear still from back in the day. From what I know about as far as graphic capabilities go and just you know, what the Game Gear could and couldn't do... Vampire Master of Darkness really pushes that the system to the to its limits as far as graphics and gameplay and um, you know saving your progress and things of that nature go. Just a really impressive game. I uh, from what I played of it so far, it, it does have a very impressive um, technical feature. You know, it does really feel like you're this guy going through this vampire town and taking out all these monster-like creatures and things of that nature. It's a really impressive Game Gear title. Next one is actually a game I've played since I was a boy, and I've actually, uh, I, I personally don't have it for my 3DS, but I know it's on there, and I think the second and third version of this is on there too, but I used to play this for the original Game Boy all the time back in the day, and that's the original Game & Watch Gallery, where you get to play modernized versions and the classic versions of classic Game & Watch games, for those who know who Mr. Game & Watch is for the, from the uh, Super Smash Bros. titles. Uh, this is basically where he came from, I mean, these old Game & Watch games from Nintendo. Uh, it was actually kind of their first handheld 
universe of games before the original Game Boy even came out. And in the Game Watch Gallery, you know, you can play modernized versions. They have like Mario and Luigi and things of that nature. Or you can play classic versions the way they were originally viewed and played for the Game & Watch system. So, really fun game. It's currently available for the Game Boy on the Nintendo 3DS Virtual Console Library. And then the last game I want to talk about is another pretty obvious one, but it is worth playing if you don't own it or haven't even played it yet. And that's Super Mario Land for the Game Boy. Um, it's actually Daisy, Princess Daisy's first game. This is the first game that we get to see Princess Daisy in, even though she later dated Luigi and not Mario. But either way, they had to introduce her somehow. And a uh, really good game. I don't, I don't even think... Um, I don't even think Bowser's in this game. I think it's actually a completely different villain for this one. But really impressive game either way. I know it's a really, uh, I think it came out even before Super Mario Bros. 3. So it's still, you know, early year Mario. Definitely an early year Game Boy Mario game. And it's just a classic. It's just such a fun game to play. And it's definitely, like I said, in the, in the spirit of classic Mario games. So it's just a fun classic Mario game to play from the original Game Boy on the eShop. So those are six different titles. I hope you guys can uh, download and play for yourselves. I know there is a ton of titles right now in the Nintendo 3DS eShop library. Um, but out of all the Virtual Console titles they have, I think these six are definitely worth checking out. Even if you don't love them, I think they're just worth experiencing just to say that you have played them and have experienced them. Uh, really fun games. So I hope you guys, uh, if you have a Nintendo 3DS and either you don't have some eShop games downloaded or if you're kind of, you know, stuck on which ones to download. These six titles I just talked about here are definitely worth picking up and downloading. So I hope to see you guys here for the next video, whether it's a film or a game-related video once again.